the kind of key part of Festus's kind of backstory is that he is was a healer, right? He's a doctor who's fallen to Nurgle. It's quite a tragic story, um, but he also kind of retains a lot of the kind of comedic aspects of Nurgle. He's this kind of big, jovial, you know, bumbly figure with these kind of little servants and stuff. So really plays into the kind of two two halves of the, the, the Nurgle story, which is the despair and also the kind of, you know, all of your troubles have been taken away and now things are okay because you don't care whether your face is falling off anymore. We kind of want to lean into that idea of, you know, Nurgle as, as a kind of healing factor as much as it is like a destructive disease based thing. So you'll see with Festus's um, kind of special burden to his plagues and his abilities and stuff, there's a lot of stuff about making your armies tougher, about making them more resilient. You'll see Festus-led armies basically just walking into missile fire and effectively ignoring all of it because they're so kind of beefed up with horrible plagues and stuff like that. Festus was me. I got, uh, that was my champion of chaos I did. Because um, when we were looking at all the champions, I was like, I want Festus. He's a gross slime boy. Nothing sounds better than slime. Nurgle is all about uh, like slime and bubbles. And that's still all in Festus. But a thing I thought we missed a trick with was, in the audio, a lot of Nurgle isn't very bright sounding. And because Festus has all these like glass flasks, I just thought it was a great opportunity to get some really bright sound design. Lots of really cool things like his um, cinematic hit, his match combat animations, all these sorts of things where he shoots like magic Nurgle blasts. And there are these really glass chimey synthetic that we did and it just really helps Festus stand out a lot. Did a lot of fun recording for him as well because um, I went back home and my family's dog had a litter of puppies so they're all like three weeks old and I recorded them all eating their porridge mush thing and that is a layer in Festus's bubbles so every time I listen to Festus in his bubbles I know my dog has eaten one of his first meals in that recording and it makes me very happy. Festus is kind of flexible in the fact that he's got two abilities that uh, he can switch between in mid-battle. These are mutually exclusive though. These are uh, Healing Elixirs and Harbinger of Pestilence. Healing Elixirs is an AoE heal, which heals all of uh, his allies around him, whereas Harbinger of Pestilence is more of a direct damage or mortis effect. It really leans into Nurgle as, a, as the ultimate kind of brick wall faction. You can hit them, but they're going to get back up straight away. For Festus, we tried to keep in, in theme with all the lord we did all the, the sluggishness, the, the goofiness, uh, which you contrast with the horrible things they do on the battlefield. And uh, Festus is the first among them. His match combat animation is very faithful to, to his miniature. Yeah, basically the, the, the word for him is big, ugly baby. <laughs> I think it deserves a shout out, I think, is our Lord Select videos. Visually, everyone knows Lord Select videos, you know, they're iconic in many ways, but I think people forget that someone sits down there at some point and makes sound for it. We put a lot of work into them, and I think the Warriors of Chaos, all eight of them we now have, I think they are the best set we have. So we pick Warriors of Chaos, and you go from Archaeon through to Valkyria and Bellacore. That was all a lot of work we put a lot of time into, and we really tried to sell in the sound design that character and I think Festus was a good example of just how far we tried to push things because there was an original version of the video I did it and it was kind of like a barren wasteland background so it played desert sounds like a, a vulture car or something like that and then they switched the background out to make it Nurgle's Realm which was much more Nurgle themed and much better and I kind of just went to town with it I put a lot of Nurgle slime on the panda off to the left and right really make it feel like you're in a Nurgle slime realm. And it's really subtle, and a lot of this stuff you won't hear unless you turn the music off. But if you do that, and you go through and listen to the videos, you'll see a lot of fun little details. We spend a lot of time putting work into them, and it's something the whole team does. Uh, and I'm always very proud of it, and I hear it, and I love to see all the great work that we do here.